All right, how's it going everybody? North Bay Joe here and welcome back to another Z Modeler 3 tutorial here on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to be showing you how to import uh, mod parts or create mod parts in Z Modeler 3 that you can use for your vehicle in GTA 5 and uh, 5M. Uh, servers. Anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a vehicle that we got off of default GTA, uh, which is the Alpha. Uh, and if you looked at my other import tutorial, I showed you how to import a vehicle. Uh, I can just kind of quickly a quick rundown with that. Uh, so since we're using the Alpha, we have it loaded into a folder uh, that I uh, named uh, Alpha. Uh, you can put this on your desktop. Uh, your documents folder, downloads, I don't care where you put it, just put it somewhere that you know where it's at. You go to it, drag the vehicle that you're gonna you know, work on, make sure you have your high and low YFTs, your YTD, uh, and all that good stuff. And then uh, go ahead and get the mod part that you're trying to add. Uh, in this case, I got the Comet 5 wing. If you wanna get it yourself, you can go to uh, OpenIV and search uh, Comet 5 and and find its location where the mod it'll comet five mods and get the comet five wing h that's what we used uh so yeah uh once you have that in the folder like that uh and like i said i'm not going to deal through the steps to do that i'm just going to be showing you how to attach the spoiler to the to the vehicle and have it function properly uh this will work for bumpers boots <laughs> roofs uh you name it uh, all the mod parts, chassis, they all work the same way uh, similarly, but we're going to do a spoiler because it's the one that you people usually are trying to add uh, consistently. So you go to your folder where you have the vehicle unlocked and the spoiler at. Uh, first thing we're going to do is load in the high uh, detail lod. We'll go ahead and double click on alpha underscore high, load it in there, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the import button here again, the blue import, click it and then go to the alpha.yft, which is the low. And we know we've got it all working here uh, when you uh, go ahead and go through L1, L2, L3, L4, and you can see that the LOD level of details are showing up. We're gonna leave it on L0 because that's where we're gonna be working off of. And let's go ahead and go back to the blue import button, click it again, and go to that Comet 5 wing H that we're trying to add to the vehicle. So as you can see, it loaded in, but it loaded on the inside. <laughs> So that's okay. Uh, we're not uh, we're not going to be uh, worried about it. We're going to move it around anyway. So go ahead and hit right arrow on on your uh, at the top where your vehicle's uh, main node is. Hold right arrow down. It'll open all the nodes here, so you don't have to have them closed and not sure if you got them open or not or selected or not. You you'll always see whether something's selected if it's red or not. You know so. Anyway, we see our wing here too as well. Uh, as we see, there's the wing. And what we're gonna be trying to do is attach it to the boot bone because that's where the spoilers go is on the boot. In most cases, I should say. But anyway, we uh, have the boot here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this in this window so that you guys can actually see uh, properly. So let's just go like that perspective. We're gonna do left. Okay, so now you guys can see here, my camera's not covering it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select our wing that we're trying to add, our spoiler. Uh, we're going to go to our move tool, make sure that's selected. Uh, make sure that it's not move axis only, because if you have that on, it's just going to move the axis. See, but we don't want that. Uh, so make sure that that's turned off. Uh, and make sure you're moving with the X and Y axes. So make sure those are both selected. So when you grab it, you can just drag it over there and move it right to the boot. And as you can see, I would usually uh, resize this and everything, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna slap it right on there and call her good. As you can see, it's on there. We, you know, usually get a good look at it. Does it look right? Yeah, it looks okay. That'll work for now, uh, at least for this tutorial. Um, yeah, that's good like that. Anyway, so now that it's on there, look, we got our uh, spoiler on, right? We're done. We can just export it. Call it a day. Wrong. If we did that. What's going to happen is uh, it may be in the right position. It's not always guaranteed. It might show up there. 
It might be way up here in the air. Uh, there's a lot of things that can do, uh, but what's going to really happen is when you open this boot, uh, it's going to, you know, swing up and down through it. Uh, it it's just not going to work properly. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to this button here. It's called display. We're going to click on it. We're going to see this option right here called copy local accesses from one node to another. Select that. And then go up here to the options tab right here. Click that little button options, tiny, teeny, tiny. But you're going to see there's an option here that says keep object. We're going to click that. We want that to stay on. We're going to make sure that this is set to both because we want to move the orientation and the offset. And what we're going to do now that we have uh, that close, we're going to close the options. We're going to go down here uh, and see modeler's doing it saves. So that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the trunk, which is the boot, because what we're trying to do is take this node here, which is the uh the axis that rotates the trunk we're taking that we want to copy that we want to copy the position from our spoiler to that position so we highlight over the trunk see it's highlighted left click it once we'll see a little arrow pop up off it bring that arrow to the spoiler and left click it once and there we go that node that we were just talking about as you can see is inside that little cylindrical drum so that means that our Spoiler is now on the same rotation and same uh, axis as the boot is. And you think we're done again. Wrong again. The spoiler would be up in the air and it wouldn't be in the correct position because it's not positioned to the chassis of the vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to reset the world because our chassis is always set to the center of the world. So we click reset the world, but we're not ready yet. We go up here to the option button, click it one more time. And then turn off keep object. We don't want that on anymore. Okay. So now that we have that off, we're going to go over here to our spoiler again, highlight it or just hover over it till it's highlighted and then click it once. Boom. Done. It's it's positioned. Now it's back in that center of the car. And that's at, there's a reason for it being there because that's, like I said, the chassis center. Uh, and now when you export the spoiler, uh, it'll be in the correct position on the vehicle itself. And if you ever need to work on it again, uh, you would just, you know, turn your boot back on, turn your, uh, wing back on and you would copy the access with keep object, uh, off. So you just bring that back to it by bringing it back. But like I said, we're keeping it there for now. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and export it out. But before we export it out, let's go ahead. And since it's still a default vanilla wing name, we're going to change that to uh, the vehicle that we're working on. Um, and I'm just going to quickly tell you this. I named this vehicle Alpha 2 because I didn't want it to overwrite the vanilla Alpha. I made my own metadata for it. And I st we're streaming its own, uh, we're streaming its own uh, files renamed as alpha two, that way we don't overwrite it. It's an add on vehicle. Now I'm not going to teach you how to do that. Like I said, you can do this to any vehicle. I'm just using this alpha as a example. So since it's called alpha two, I always rename my, uh, mod parts, the name of the car alpha two, that's the name of the model underscore, uh, wing or spoiler. You can do either one. We'll just do wing and then underscore one. So that's an, you know, cause this is the first one we've added to it. And we're gonna do the same for the, uh, for the actual model itself. We're gonna put, cause this is just a node. Uh, we're gonna paste that down below, but we're gonna make sure at the end it has underscore NG because that's the compound part. This is the node, this is the actual part. Uh, so now that we have that, we can control C the name. We have it copied. And we're gonna go up here to the red arrow where it says export. And we're going to export that into our convert folder. Like we have our unlock folder where we import everything. We have the convert where we export everything. And then we're going to go ahead and control V the name here on the file name alpha two wing underscore one. And we exported it and that's it. The mod part is created. It is not set to load in to the game yet, but it is created it is done. So right there, the tutorial could be done. Uh, we have everything completed. So if that's all you were looking to figure out how to do, I appreciate that. But we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to where we exported it. 
uh, which is the convert folder here. It's wherever you saved it. It's going to be different for everybody. Uh, and uh, we're going to find that alpha two wing underscore one. We're going to go ahead and copy it. And here's the folder where we're streaming the car and we're going to go ahead and paste it in there. So now the uh, the wing exists in the folder where we're streaming it and uh, it will load with the vehicle itself now. But we're not done yet because what we're going to need to do next, uh, let me close this, um, is we need to create a Harkles uh, entry for it in the visual mods, in the visible mods, sorry. Uh, so what we're going to do to find the spoilers is we're going to go VMT underscore spoiler in the find function. This is uh, Visual Studio Code is what I'd use to do all my text editing on and meta ed editing. Uh, you can use Sublime Text. You can use uh, Windows uh, Text Editor. There's many options you can do this, but I prefer Visual Studio Code as the most support and you can get a lot done with it. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy. As we can see, we're going to go to the last entry, which is spoiler four. There's no more after that. We move on to exhaust. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the item to item here. We're going to copy that. We're going to go ahead and make a space so that it's a new entry. And we're going to go ahead and paste what we just copied into here, uh, which is basically a, a clone of what spoiler four was. But let's see, it's trying to name it spoiler five. Uh, but we named ours something different. We could have followed the naming style, but uh, we named it Alpha 2 Wing 1. So we're going to go ahead and rename that. Hit Control C on it to copy it and then come down here to the model name and paste that in right there. So it's very important. If you want your mod part to load in, the model name has to match that right here. The mod shop label, that can be anything. You could name it uh, uh, Butterfly underscore wing underscore one you could name it whatever you want doesn't matter you could name it uh dog poop it just doesn't matter what would you name it uh go ahead and let me know down below in the comments what you'd name it would you name it something funny uh or would you just keep it the same i typically just would copy it and paste the same name as the model name it's easier for me to remember which model that is that way uh and i suggest you do the same uh but for now, we'll just do the, what I do usually is just copy the model name. Uh, turn off bones. We are not linked models. We have no link models right now. I'm not going to get into what those do. Uh, turn off bones. We don't have any right now to turn off, but I'm going to quickly just touch on that real fast. If. Uh, let's just see here. Boot. Imagine in the boot here, there was another spoiler. OK. It would be called miscellaneous, you know, T or whatever. It's going to be called something miscellaneous uh, that can be turned off and on. Miscellaneous parts are able to be referenced and turned off and on. Um, what we would do here is we'd see, oh, the spoiler is called miscellaneous T. Uh, we would go to our our meta folder or meta files here and we would turn off the bone with miscellaneous T. Thankfully, like I said, this car doesn't have a default spoiler. We're not turning anything off. But if you were turning off that spoiler, you would do it that way. Uh, and uh, I'm sure I can get into that more detail at a later date. But like I said, let's not dwell on that because that doesn't exist right now. Um, anyway, so as you can see here, uh, we have no bones to turn off. We're going to make sure the type is VMT underscore spoiler because this is a, a spoiler or a wing. If it was a roof mod, we'd be VMT underscore roof. If it was a... Uh, bumper mod of VMT underscore bumper underscore F. Like I said, there's a name for each mod type. You always want to enter that in here and make sure that it's correct. Uh, and spelling is very important. So don't mess that part up. Uh, next, you have the bone and that's what you attach the mod part to. And we attach this mod part specifically to the boot. So we're going to have the boot entered in here. That way it follows the position of the boot and doesn't follow any other part on the vehicle. It's not going to open with the doors or the hood, just the boot. Uh, the collisions, the collision that you choose for this mod part. Um, I usually just do the boot again because I don't like collision on my spoilers. It makes people I protect them from shooting. And in a GTA roleplay server, that's not something we want to prioritize. But uh, for the sake of this model, it actually does have a mod collision. Uh, so if I add the collisions on here, you can see that it references mod collision too. And there you go. There is a collision there that... Uh, 
it references and would use if I reference it. So we're going to leave that on there today. Mod Collision 2. And you could move that and adjust it and re-export the car. Uh, but I'll leave that, you know, for you to decide. Uh, so yeah, that's just the collision that's going to use. The weight doesn't matter. That's adding mass to the vehicle. It necessarily doesn't slow it down. It makes it so it hits trash cans and poles and other cars stronger. So just leave it default to what it was on the other spoilers. There's no reason to change that. Everything else you can leave the same to false, false, true. Allow bonnet slide, disable camera, turn off extras. There's no extras that we're turning off here. So we don't got to worry about any of that. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our server. We're going to boot it up. Make sure you hit control S on this so you save it uh, or file save. However you do it, you're uh, saving on these. Um, and we're going to go ahead and boot up our test server and we're going to go and see if our spoiler is working. And if we got it right, the spoiler will be loading in correctly and it will attach to the trunk and open and close with it. So with the power of editing, I'm sure we'll see you here in just a second. Uh, but I also want to just remind you, go ahead and make sure to check me out on Twitch. I'm live daily, twitch.tv slash North Bay Joe. I do appreciate the support that you guys show me every day from uh, many of you guys that have already come and visited me there. Uh, and it means a lot that you uh, you come to try and learn and uh, have a good time with us while we stream each day. All right, so let's go ahead and boot up our server here. And also down in the comments below, uh, please make sure that you let me know what other videos tutorials you'd like to see me do. Uh, and create for Z Modeler 3. I'm going to try to get a whole series of these going. Uh, and uh, I just want to help people. I've been doing it for five years and I'm completely self taught. Uh, so, very, very few things I learned from watching a video. I just tinkered until I got it right. All right. So, let's spawn our vehicle, Alpha 2. That's our Alpha clone. And uh, let's go to our, you would go to your Benny's, Ellis Customs, whatever you use to add mods. I have a V menu, so I'm just going to go to my spoiler and bam, there it is, chat. There's our spoiler. And is it following our bone piece here? Is it going to work? Yep, it works. It follows the bone. Excellent, chat. Look at that. It's great stuff. We'd like to see it. It could have been positioned better. And like I said, I would have painted it and made it a little wider and slammed it down a little more to be low profile. But for the sake of this tutorial, it was just put it on there, show you how to attach it to the node, and then let's move on. I do appreciate you guys uh, uh, tuning in to the video here today. I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, and I hope if you uh, have someone else asking questions about this, that you help others as well. Uh, again, we're live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash North Bay Joe. Uh, please leave a like on the video and a comment below. It helps me to know uh, which more videos to make. And uh, I do appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for tuning in today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Good night and goodbye.